Situationships are a trap. Yes. Kasi you're wasting time. Alam mo namang wala namang patutunguhan. Kasi you're gonna get into a cycle of delulu or delusion na baka ma-develop to into something really nice. It's a big trap. Don't get in a situationship. Parang kayo na hindi, or like walang labels. A situationship is something not official. It's a sexual and romantic relationship without any commitment. And the person is not obliged to make an effort. Ando lang yung person pag convenient sa kanya. It's kind of like a traditional relationship. It's just that pag ayaw niya na, pag ayaw mo na, wala na din. Pag sa dating kasi, parang you're really obligated to commit. May gusto sila yung patutunguhan. It's either matapos or itutuloy. Pag sa situationship kasi, para lang siyang friendship eh. Pero hindi ka pwede mag-demand at the same time kasi nga situationship eh. Kumukuha ka lang nga ng instant love, pwede mo siyang bitawan agad. Wala kang pake sa feelings ng isa't isa. Yung clarity nung intention, I think sa situationship wala na. You're just having fun, you're just playing around. Situationships can be a trap, they can be an opportunity, or they can be a beautiful experience to be had, depending on where you are at here. Yes or no? Situationships count as a relationship? No. No for me. No. Because there's no label. Personally, parang it doesn't count as like a relationship talaga mismo. Hindi talaga siya formally na pinag-usapan na nag-reon. Pero depende kasi siya eh. Yung start niyo is like getting to know. Pwede pa siguro, pero parang ano lang siya. First step ba sa relationship? Yes. Yes. We have so many names for it, but it's a relationship. At one point or another, there are two people who may or may not be willing, 100% willing, but are willing to go a certain length. You're going to dinner dates with them. You're meeting their friends. Kaya yung mga situationship ko, we do things together. Like mga simpleng errands, groceries, we work out together. Those are the things na ginagawa ng magjowa. You just don't want to put a name on it. Gusto nilang instant love, tapos ayaw nila sa commitment. So, medyo nag-contradict. Kaya nagkaharon siguro ng situationship. I think a situationship starts when you, you know, encounter somebody you're attracted to, but already you have your own reservations in your life. Or, you know, you both just come in with the idea that you don't want anything serious. Or maybe you come in with the idea of wanting a relationship, but, you know, life complicates the situation. Ship. Situationships are just an excuse to not commit. Yes, I think. Yes. Yes. Yes, actually. I think the situation is for the two. It says a lot. Eh. There's no responsibility. You get to know the person. You get to be with them. Get to experience the feeling of being in a relationship. But why would I punish myself for the next couple of years? No, we don't have the luxury of time to spend dun sa mga tao or mga bagay na alam naman natin walang mangyayari, walang pupuntahan. Habang tumatagal, mas lalo nagkaka-trauma yung mga tao and then ayaw na nilang mag-commit. Getting to know na lang and not getting into so much responsibility. Mas nagiging coward yung mga tao. Kasi dapat dito pa lang, intentional ka na sa life mo. Yung iba kasi natatakot sila na kasi hindi ko pa alam yung gusto ko eh. Pero bakit hindi ka lumabas out there, find someone na gusto kong i-take out for a real date? Yung mag effort din na kikilala rin ka. Bakit mo pa kasi sisimulan yung ganun kung wala rin namang patutunguan? Kung ako kasi, mabilis ako masaktan lalo na sa relationships. Para sa akin, okay lang sa kanila kung sa kanila, okay. Pero kung sa akin gag mangyayari, ayoko kung walang patutunguan. Because really, at the end of the day, you know, even though you're just dating, it's a sign of like maturity, then eh, if you can communicate these uncomfortable topics. But at least both parties are not burned. Situationships can provide the same level of emotional fulfillment as a traditional relationship. At some point, yes, because you get to do things nga, what lovers do. It's just that you can do everything gusto mo without thinking about that person's feelings, you know. It depends eh. Committing to somebody is having somebody who is there to witness everything about your life. I think in a situation ship, there's a level of reservation that doesn't afford that. And I think that that works more for people who are working on themselves, but still want a little bit of connection on the side. No. 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 We can 
put that much affection in a situation ship than how we do it in a relationship. Kasi pwede ka naman sabihin niya na gusto ito, ganyan, ganyan. Pero wala siyang, walang bigat na kung totoo ba or genuine. Parang pinapaasa ka lang. For me, may kulang pa rin kasi wala yung assurance, wala yung trust. Mahirap kasi i-build yun pag sa situation ship eh. I guess there's a certain level of trust na no, when you guys put a label that allows both parties to be more open to each other more vulnerable to each other both of you can like share things you don't share with other people parang foundation kasi siya ng healthy relationship you can see other people while in a situation yes yes no of course yes ayo niyo lagi ng label di sige i think it really depends on kung ano yung napag-usapan niyo but if you guys have not talked about anything and you're just hooking up you're just texting each other na parang kakain kayo sa bahay niya. Yes, I think you can definitely hook up with other people. That's why it's really important no, to like communicate things. Like if you don't want the other party to like see other people, just tell them, saan ba tayo talaga? Are we not official? Are we official? Then if official na kayo, that kind of like sees the deal na bawal na yan. Ako kasi kahit crush ko nga lang, isa lang eh. Once na interesado ka na sa isa, dapat dun ka muna. Like, kung hindi mag-work yun, tsaka ka mag-move on sa ibang tao. Sa observation ko rin, madaming ano eh, nag-cheat-cheat. Pero hindi nila na kinoconsider na cheating yun kasi nga situationship naman daw. Though yung iba kasi, they have feelings for each other, kaya they somewhat know na dapat kayo lang dalawa. Hindi kasi malinaw, di ba? Situationships are a trap. Yes. 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 Kasi you're wasting time. Alam mo namang wala namang patutunguhan. Mas mahirapan ka talagang lumabas. We are human beings. We crave for what we can't have. If we can't get this guy to be or this person to be in a relationship with us, but he wants us in bed for vulnerable us, we just take the hit. But it's a trap. Kasi you're gonna get into a cycle of delulu or delusion na baka ma-develop to into something really nice, to, into a relationship or something. It's a big trap. You might fall in love and then ikaw kawawak at the end. Wala ka karapatan. So pag may nine love na isa, siguro kailangan niya agad sabihin sa partner niya or doon sa kasituationship niya. Kasi medyo malilito din yung partner niya eh. Yun na pala yung nararamdaman niya. Tapos hindi, hindi siya aware. Eh di kung malalaman niya agad yun, it's either ituloy niya like i- taas pa yung level ng relationship nila or stop na kasi hindi niya kayang i-reciprocate yung love nung isang ka-situation. It really depends on your mental state. If you are the kind of person who has not does not understand themselves, doesn't love themselves and you are attracting these kinds of relationships where someone is not ready to commit because you yourself are afraid of your own shadow, don't get in a situation ship. Is it worth it to invest in a situation ship if it means it could lead to a potential relationship? Yes. Yes. Yes, pero bago ka mag-invest, establish first where the hell this is going. Kasi if you invest too much, emotionally especially, it can break you worse than how a relationship can break you. For me, hindi. Paano mo ba madidetermine kasi yun? Yun nga, ang term ko kasi sa situationship, parang first step para sa isang relationship. They don't have to lead anywhere. I mean, there's no pressure. But it should be a mutual discussion. If you both are starting to catch feelings, it should be something you talk about every step of the way. That's just the nature of the game though. You don't know if the person is gonna be your future husband or wife, but you're never gonna know until you try. We can always try kasi sa ganyan, pero dapat emotionally ready ka and mentally ready sa pumasok sa situationship. Kung alam mo na may patutunguhan or may potential nga, why not try it na? Who's to say the relationship's gonna be successful, diba? But you will learn something about yourself along the way, so no experience is ever lost. Do you think Situations should be normalized? No, parin sa. Akin. No. 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 If may build doon, para ipasang tigilan nyo yan, no. <laughs> Nakakasakit siya ng ulo. You should really be intentional nga kahit sa ngayon. Yung iba kasi sinasabi nila, let's just go with the flow. I get it na dapat talaga we're here at the present moment. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin na itetake mo na lang siya for granted. Iba-iba kasi yung definition ng situationship eh. Pag iba-iba yung naiisip, may mamimislead na ibang tao. Kasi para sa akin talaga, kung mananormalize yung situationship, yun nga, isa siyang step lang towards a relationship. Yes, but we should change the name. I think there's such a bad stigma with the word situationship. I'm very proud of you know our generation and the newer generations because the level of communication about boundaries 
and consent is so normalized now, whereas when I was younger, it was very stigmatized. There's a lot of toxicity with situationships. But nowadays, it's okay to say like, look, I'm not looking for anything serious. This may be physical. If a friendship develops out of this, that's amazing. And I think that that's a very healthy way to view a situationship. Pero sige, um, prone nga. You know, you don't feel alone. May one call away ka. The best part of it is you get to have sex. I mean, if you're in a situation and uh, in a situationship and you don't have sex, then what's the point? I think the pros of a situation situationship are just the freedom to explore for people who are exploring, experimenting. Yan yan, instant kilig, may mag-worry sa'yo, may pag-worryhan ka, ganun. Pero, pag sa long term, wala eh. It's really a waste of time. Especially if you are not a good communicator, situationships can be very emotionally taxing, draining. Yung cons para sa'kin, wala siyang assurance na magiging kayo ba at the end. Ang gulod niya, magulo siya. Dinidevalue niya yung real relationship, yung sanctity ng totoong relationship just because of its very own existence. What are the rules or the boundaries of situationship? Number one, don't put your expectations on a high. Huwag ka masyado mag-expect. It's just all about communication. They need to be on the same page. So much headache can be avoided with just simple communication. You need to have check-ins like, where are we at? Is this still okay? Unless you're the kind of person who kind of likes that toxicity, then go, do your own journey. But if you want a successful relationship, whether it's a friendship, a situationship, I think it just requires communication. The second one is, don't ask for anything in return. Don't do that. Your value is more important than the person. Kung alam mo naman yung mga ayaw at sa gusto mo, dapat sa una pa lang ina-establish mo na at dapat hindi na ko-cross yun. Number three, don't invest too much. Please don't. Especially your time. Never invest kasi baka masayang lang eh. Ingatan nyo lang yung feelings nyo once kayo pumasok sa isang situationship. Kasi pwedeng kang masaktan. Like kung instant love, instant din yung sakit na marami. I think you should focus on yourself more muna. Dapat you have a good relationship with yourself. Kasi doon mo malalaman eh, hanggang ano lang ba yung sa tingin mong para sa'yo. And pag alam mo kasi yung worth mo na, talagang hindi ka magsasettle sa kahit ano na ayaw mo. You're worth it. Have a healthier self-image. Know that you're worth it. And really, if you're not being served, if your needs are not being met, you deserve someone better. But for the people who are stuck in situationships, don't look at it in a way na magiging kayo talaga. Don't take it way too serious. Kasi again, nothing is sadder than feeling alone when you're with someone than being alone, diba? Enjoy everything. Enjoy the kilig, enjoy the problems, but don't take it too seriously. It's not gonna last.